Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic Facebook event page to spread awareness of your upcoming event. Um, and I'm going to use the example of a silent night out with Delmarva Public Radio, which is an upcoming fundraising event that is a silent auction in Easton. So just to get started, go to your administrative page and click on the events tab. Sometimes it takes a second to load. Um, obviously I've already created the event, but if you go up to past events, this is what it would normally look like is everything you've done in the past. So go to the top right hand corner and click create event. Now this is where you're going to fill out all your information. Now I've pasted in the name. Try to have something catchy. Um, you don't want anything that doesn't relate to your theme. So we're having ours in December, which is holiday themed, and it's a silent night out because it's a silent auction. In the details tab, make sure you have the location, the time, um, any ticket information, and any location or directions information. You're going to fill that out later, but it's always great to have that just in case. Once you've pasted in all your information, be careful of Facebook's tagging. Um, here I have Paul Cullen, but if I wanted to tag him as a person who is one of our friends, he's our host, I would type in his name, um, and sometimes I'll click on one of these. It might not work, but sometimes I'll click, and then I'll hit enter to go to the next line, and it will have inserted Edward Cullen, which is who they thought I meant. So just be careful not hit enter. Be careful that you just hit space maybe after every line to avoid that problem. Next, move on to the where, which is location. It's automatically inserted Delmarva Public Radio, which is the host, but that is not actually where the event is going to take place. So I'm just going to quickly type in the Avalon Theater, and because they have a Facebook page, they're already listed in Easton, Maryland. I'll just insert them. Tickets, it has to be a website address. We only are going to have people call for tickets, um, but I can't insert a phone number because Facebook won't let you. So just put your website address. Now once I've pasted that in, next will be the when, um, which is a little small calendar. We'll have a drop down. We're just going to go to December 8th, Sunday, which is the date of the auction. And for time, we're going to start by putting 3.30, which is when it starts, but you'll notice there's two options. And the trick is that Facebook goes by military time. If I were to put 3.30, which is what I want to put, it would be 3.30 a.m. to Facebook. So we're going to put 15.30, and then the end time is going to be 7.30. What's nice is you can type in 7.30, and it'll give you both options just in case it, it knows that you're not running off of military time. Finally, there's the ad targeting at the bottom. You can directly target to gender, relationship, educational status. You can specify who you want your event to go to, but for us, we want it to go to everyone, so we're just going to say no one, and we're going to create. And this might take a second as well. So while you're waiting for it to load, you can think of the, all the pictures that you'd want to add. So here it is. You can see more. There's all the information that we put in. It tells the date, the time, the get tickets will link to the website that you put, which it does show, but we want to add our event photo. So we're going to upload a photo from my files. If you click up at the top, and I just saved the logo to the desktop. So we're going to go down. It's going to be the SNO, which is the Silent Night Out logo. And then that'll also take a second to load depending on how large the picture is. And you can drag to reposition it if you'd like to move it around, but ours fits pretty well. So we're just going to save changes. Make sure you do that. And there you have it. There's all your information. Because we are an administrative page or a business page, um, we can't invite people, but people can join. So you don't have to worry about invites. They also offer because um, we're a business page to boost the post with money, but we don't want to do that either. We're just going to share it. So if you click share, you can input your message, um, say something like join us, and this is where you can tag the people you'd like to tag, like Paul Cullen, our host, or Naked Blue, the band that's going to be there. And then once you do that, you can click share event, and that'll post it to your timeline for everyone to see. So we'll check it out on our timeline, and there you have it. It's the final one. Here's the Join Us, hosted by Paul Cullen, and there's what you saw that I tagged it, and I tagged the band, and it'll also say that you created the event. So there's plenty of exposure on your Facebook page. Anyone that wants to comment or like the event or share it on their own wall is free to do so. So I hope that was just a few tips for how to create a basic Facebook event, just in case you needed to go through that for your own event. Good luck!